COBOL 27 was formed about a year and a half ago when we went public to provide investors with access to, to the electric vehicle theme. COBOL 27's primary commodity, of, of course, is COBOLT, which is a key component of the batteries that are going into electric vehicles. And prior to COBOL 27, investors really could not invest in COBOLT. And so we're providing investors with a large liquid platform where they can, they can bet and invest in that electric vehicle theme, which, is, which comes through that adoption of, of lithium ion batteries, where, where cobalt is a key component of the lithium ion battery. We've had a very active 2018 so far. We've announced a couple of royalty acquisitions, but really two major streaming investments. The first stream that we've closed is the world's first cobalt stream, and that was on a project called Voises Bay in Newfoundland, Labrador. That was a U.S. $300 million investment that we made with, uh, into, a, in, into a company called Valet, which was one of the world's largest diversified mining companies. And we'll be buying 32.6% of Voises Bay's cobalt production starting in 2021 at an 80 to fixed 82% margin. Uh, and, and we're expecting um, significant cash flow to start coming from that asset in 2021. The second major investment that we made in 2018 was a US $200 million investment into a project called RAMU. That was announced at the end of May. RAMU is, is based in Papua New Guinea, run by MCC, uh, which again is one of the world's largest mining companies. And, and both of these assets are first quartile on the cost curve, tremendous streaming investment opportunities, long, long mine lives that, that, that should exceed over 20 or 30 years, and, um, and will provide our shareholders with meaningful cash flow for a very long period of time. Our Voices Bay stream, which is U.S. $300 million investment, is expected to be begin production in January 1st, 2021. This cobalt stream was actually funding the underground expansion of the Voices Bay mine. And so the stream is designed to, to come on, online at the same time as the underground expansion. And once the, the mine is fully ramped up, we're expecting 1.9 million pounds of, of cobalt to be delivered on an annual basis remembering that every pound of cobalt that's delivered to us, we buy at an 82% margin. So again, we're expecting significant cash flow from that, that stream to begin in 2021. We continue to see ex extremely strong macro fundamentals for, for electric vehicles. Uh, in fact, I read today that that it took only six months for the market to, for, for electric vehicles to go from three million units sold to four million units sold. So the adoption of EVs continue to accelerate at a, at a pace that's faster than most analysts' expectations. And that's really before you see most of the mainstream automakers have an electric vehicle model that's, that's available for purchase. So we, we believe the macro theme is as strong as ever and really expect that this EV adoption to ramp up over the next couple of years. Cobalt is associated with, with nickel production everywhere outside of the DRC. It's important to remember that 70% of the world's uh, current cobalt production comes from the DRC. So again, outside of the DRC, you really need a high enough nickel price to incentivize either new projects or the existing projects to get expanded. And also, within the battery chemistry itself, when you think about the lithium-ion battery that's going into these electric vehicles, it is actually a nickel-manganese-cobalt battery. So again, a very high correlation between both nickel and cobalt as you think about EV adoption. And so for us, it's important to get some nickel exposure at cobalt-27. So actually, 20% of our net asset value is related to nickel. And, and we'll, we'll continue to explore opportunities for both nickel and, and cobalt as we think about building a battery metals focused company. Cobalt 27 has had an extremely busy 2018. There's still a lot in our pipeline and a lot that we're working on at, at Cobalt 27. 
Our, our focus here over the near term is, is really to get the share price back up to what we believe is, is its fundamental value. We see the, the share price today trading significantly below its fair value. And so we're spending a lot of time on the road over the next couple of months to tell that story, to get new investors into the, into the company that believe in the long-term EV theme. But that pipeline from a corporate development perspective is as strong as it's ever been. And, and the, the management team at Cobalt 27 is very active in looking at uh, and, and really continuing to build on, on our investment portfolio, um, which, which will comprise of uh, more streams and, and certainly some additional royalties as well. The TSXV listing for us gives us access to a number of investors that, of course, we didn't have uh, prior to our public listing about a year and a half ago. Uh, for us, a key part of our business model is access to capital. We can't continue to build our investment portfolio unless we have that access to capital, and that means both retail and institutional shareholders. And the listing on the TSXV is a, is a key part of that, uh, is that access to capital for us.